gentlemen and female gentlemen, long hath been the reign of South Park. You all have been asking me to do more South Park, and here we are, locked in. It's South Park time. And as you know, I am specifically picking South Park episodes that tackle very uh, relevant topics. And this time, South Park is attacking China, apparently. <laughs> Crazy how this happened. All right, let's go. Uh... <laughs> They attack China, and apparently they get into real-life drama over this shit. All the characters and events of the show. Integrity! Bro, this is how you start. This is how you start. This is how you roll up. Oh, my God. Let's freaking go, dude. Going down to Tegrity Farms, gonna have myself a time. Yeah! Friendly faces everywhere, humble folks without temptation. Going yeah, dude, Tegrity! This is uh, season 23, episode 2. It's the one that apparently attacks China. And the follow-up for this one is the anti-vax one. Down to Tegrity Farms, gonna leave my woes behind. Ample parking day or not, people spouting how to neighbor. I'm heading on down to Tegrity Farms, gonna see if I can unwind. I got some weird, I don't even know what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. So come on down to Tegrity Farms and meet some friends. Tegrity now. Weed. Yeah, let's go, dude. 100% hemp. All right, not gonna lie to you. I just invested in hemp. So let's go. Let's go hemp. Hemp. Stan, family meeting. Get downstairs. Okay. I'm writing a song, Dad. Nobody cares about that. Come on, I've got big news. Big news. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> Oh god, this is not a good sign. This is this band in China. This is not the uh, the famous band in China one, but this is a different one where they uh, they attack China. Sharon, Shelly, hurry! I've got it. What is it, Randy? Uh oh. You guys, I've just had the greatest idea ever. Uh oh. We're gonna move back to our old house. <laughs> That's cute. No, I've been trying to figure out how to make more money selling weed. Oh god, I'm so scared where this is gonna go. Oh no. And last night it came to me. Uh-huh. We could grow the family business by selling integrity to the Chinese. No, dude, they just go they rip the band-aid off at the very start, don't they? Oh god. Oh dude. Yeah, now I know why this this episode got canceled. I did a little research. Turns out there's a lot of people in China. If we can get like 2% of that market to buy our weed, we'd make millions of millions of dollars. <laughs> Bro, he's just he's sell out to China. Oh my god, boss is gonna die so many times in this episode. Oh god. Oh, this is gonna go bad, isn't it? I'm flying to China tomorrow. I've gotta get in on this before anyone else thinks of it. <laughs> yeah, no, one, no one ever thought of selling shit to China because of the big population. Uh, these people, <laughs> oh god, these, is he restarting the opium wars? Tomorrow? Randy, are you forgetting about this Saturday? What's this Saturday? Autumn Fest, Stan's concert. He and his little friends have been rehearsing all week. No. A lot of people in town are coming out to support him. Builds character if the dad doesn't show up. Everyone but you? Everyone? Stan, you need to wear your Tegrity t-shirt at the performance. Oh, God, dude, grind never stop. Grind never stop, dude. Bro, this is Mr. Beast telling you to subscribe to him everywhere he shows up. Everywhere this man goes, he's telling you to subscribe to him. Grind, do not stop. Holy shit. Oh, come on, Dad. Stan, they're available on Amazon starting Friday, so you could really help promote the family business while I'm gone. Then again, I guess family doesn't mean all that much to you. God damn. Ultimate deadbeat dad. Never stop hustling, I guess. Oh. Yeah. Tumbleweeds and squirrels, my darling. Tumbleweeds and squirrels. Yeah. Yeah, tumbleweeds and squirrels. Classic, classic, classic South Park. Okay, that was the South Park Sounderoos. Thanks, Thanks again, again to, to Kate, Kate and Earl. Earl. All right, up next we have four of our local South Park fourth graders who have formed a band. Let's hear it for Stan Marsh and Crimson Dawn. Yeah. Hi, Oh my god, he's actually wearing the hemp shirt. Aw, oh, dude, poor guy! Poor guy! Dude, everyone in chat is so excited. Wait, what am I getting into? Oh, there's our butters. Oh, butters. Oh, aren't they cute? Um, hi, we're, we're Crimson, Crimson Dawn, Dawn, and, um, this, this is a song, song I wrote about living out, out in the country on a, on a farm. farm. All right, fellas, just like we rehearsed it. And a one, and a two, and a... 
Wait, what? That was that was metal as shit. What the? F <laughs> oh my god! But I mean, obviously, this kid hates the fact that he's living on this integrity farm, forced to to shill for the family business like crazy. Fuck yeah, dude, that's crazy. First time going to China? Uh, no, not really. It's my first time. I'm going out to try and drum up a little business. What are you heading out oh, for? Oh god. I, I work for a clothing company. We're trying to break into the market and get the Chinese people as customers. Damn, it's almost like every single person on this plane has the same exact plan. Oh, God. Oh, hey. Fuck you. Huh? I, <laughs> God I damn. I had idea like three days ago. So what? So when did you come up with it? Hey, Mitchell, you're on this flight? Yeah, that's so funny. I'm working for Google now. Dude, it's all the same people shilling shit to China. Oh, my God. Overseeing the expansions into the Chinese user base? He had still with the NBA, doing some press with the players to try to get more Chinese viewers. Oh, for Christ's sake. You have a good idea and everyone wants to copy you. Yeah, sure. Everybody's copying you. Oh, God, dude. The fact that when it comes to China and America and business trading, it's so fucked up. Like, it, the back and forth. The, the mass sellout to China on one side. Everyone trying to sell to China, but at the same time, China's always selling shit to America. America's massively in debt to China. And China... It, it, it's just such a... It's like an actual Aroboros of shit eating. It's like an act, human centipede. God. Fine, I can handle some healthy competition. Who else wants to go to China and get some of their money? Dude, everything. Dude, everything sells out to China. Oh, for crying out loud. Dude, is it being fucking Chris Hemsworth is going to China? Let me guess, you work for a company trying to get Chinese people as customers. Wow, where'd you get that idea? It's okay, it's okay. I'm sure there's plenty of Chinese people for all of us. Dude, that's so messed up! Oh my god! Bro! <laughs> There's Chinese people for all of us! Dude, th these people, they don't give a shit about Chinese people. It's all about the money, obviously. God damn. Okay, okay, wait, uh, hang on, guys. Very good, boys. Uh, I heard you play at Autumn Fest. I really like your sound. Uh -huh. Who are you? Well, I'm a producer. I manage all the big rock bands in South Park. PC Babies, all of them. Yeah. You manage the PC Babies? Holy smokes, fellas. They're huge. You want to sign us so you can make a record and I can move away from here? Records? What are you kids, from the 90s? There's no money in albums or singles or even tours anymore. What we need to focus on is your biopic. Biopic? You want to make the Crimson Dawn biopic? PC Babies biopic came out last God, week. God, dude, I can't stop with this PC Babies. It's crazy. Made over a hundred million dollars. Wow, wait. What do you mean, dude? Well, I'll just let you guys think on it, but don't take too long. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Everything is all just about abusing the little guy, huh? This that's what this entire episode is about. God, I I hate that it took me this long to realize where this was going. Dude, this is obviously just everyone abusing the little guy, whether it's the shit, the the Chinese populace, whether it's these guys. <laughs> They got Captain Marvel. Hello. Howdy. I'm a small business owner from the United States. You guys know any money people here? Do you guys know money people? Can I give you guys my card? I'm just starting to grow my business here in China. It's all weed. <laughs> There's no way he just put it all in the zoo. Oh my god. Dude, Randy, no, no! Wait, is this, sir? Oh, that? That's weed. Marijuana. 
You know. <laughs> oh, here, here we go. Jay she Dama Worst Wee. Randy moment of all time. Oh. Brother. Oh my god. Deport this man. Deport this man. Eliminate him. Oh my god. The, the, the Chinese. Ding, 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 ding. Music in the background also. Taggerty weed. Oh, hey, everything all right? We missed you, Randy. Where have you been? What's going on? Uh, hey, don't, don't forget my suitcase. C could you grab my suitcase? All my weed is in there. Excuse me. JG Dama. Free my man. He did nothing wrong. Dude, I can't believe the Matrix is put locking him down. Can't believe the Matrix would do this to him. What makes a band truly great? It's a desire to be heard and a commitment to a three-act structure that has a 20-minute setup, uh -huh. about an hour and a half of conflict, uh -huh. and a big triumphant resolution. Uh -huh. So, let's start at the beginning, gang. Uh. When did your band first form? Um, it was about two weeks ago. Yeah, it was about two and a half, three weeks ago, I'd I say. Hadn't, I, haven't, I hadn't seen my friend Kyle, and I hate living on a farm, so I started writing songs. That's mm. good, that's good. Mm -hmm. Lost a close friend, put loneliness into lyrics. Yeah, and Stan came to me, and I said, well, I can play the drums. But, so but I, he already asked me to play the drums. Well, so, yeah, I said, I'll, okay, I'll play guitar. Inner conflict over direction of band, good. Oh, and then Kenny learned to play bass watching YouTube videos of John Lennon with the Dalai Lama. Oh, 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 yeah. No, no, we don't want to go there. No, 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 no. The Dalai Lama doesn't go over no, well. No, 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 we do not talk about the Dalai Lama. Oh, my God, that is the, <laughs> no. With the Chinese. God damn, it just shows the amount of power the Chinese people have over America. This is this is the prequel to the pandemic specials. Yeah, after this is the anti-vax episode. And with 10,000 likes, I will do the anti-vax episode after this. But God, look how crazy it is to show the, the stranglehold just needing to appeal to people. I feel like... I feel like this is so relevant when it comes to when you think about how even in the VTuber world, uh, Hololive has got fucking annihilated by China. Um, Kiryu Koko got harassed like crazy by even mentioning Taiwan. China censorship is crazy powerful. The, the, the what? Look, for this movie to really make money, we need to make sure it clears the Chinese censors, you know? We want yep. those Chinese viewers. Because awesome. that's what it's all about. It's all about appealing and appeasing different people and different groups of people. Money runs the world. China has money. We got to appease those people. And that's it. God, the censorship stuff is so powerful. Seriously? Oh, it's okay. There's plenty of other things to talk about with your story. How about uh, what kind of things were you into when you were younger? Well, I always liked Winnie the Pooh. Okay. No, 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 no. That no! <laughs> that's definitely off limits. Wait, they don't even explain why? Oh, my God. There's no way. Hey, let me let me show it to you guys. <laughs> you, if you're not familiar with the winning, oh my god, I can't believe they go this hard on China. Like I knew this episode got them in trouble, but goddamn. So, the pre <laughs> the president of China, Xi Jinping, <laughs> looks a lot like Winnie the Pooh, and people have been making fun of him about this for a very long time. People just made this as a meme, comparing Xi Jinping to Winnie the Pooh, and they straight up banned all of Winnie the Pooh from China. Okay. <laughs> oh, this one's crazy. Oh my god, this one's crazy. Dude. Okay, but anyway, the point that I'm trying to make is, uh, and for those of you that don't know who the Dalai Lama is, this is the Dalai Lama, very uh, holy man in China. Uh, this is a recent drama he's been in, uh, kissing children on the lips uh, with, like, tongue and shit. This is, a, this, this is like a 12-year-old kid. Like, uh, pe people have been freaking out about this. Like, this is wild shit. Dalai Lama video kissing a minor boy on lips. Asking him to suck his tongue. Yeah, uh, there's there's some wild stuff. Uh, anyway, he's not like us. He's not like us. Winnie the Pooh is illegal in China. He's specifically not holy in China. Oh, he's oh he's not holy in China. He's holy in where is he? He's Tibet. It's Tibet nationalist, so China doesn't like him. Okay, all right, that that's the story. But you can't imagine because China doesn't like him. The point is, China has a stranglehold on every industry just by the fact that money. And they are able to censor people like crazy because of it. China, because some Chinese students said he looked like the Chinese president. Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. Hey, you want to move away from your family, right? You want to be successful on your own, right? Yeah. All right. Well, well then you have to bend the knee. Brown nose, China. You know what they say. You got to lower your ideals of freedom if you want to suck on the warm teat of China. <laughs> yep, that's what they say. Great expression. Oh, my God, dude. All you gotta do is lower your understanding of freedom to suck on the teat of China. Oh.
Randy actually in Chinese prison. No way Chinese prison is the the workshops. Bro. Oh my god. They they put him in the, the actual sweatshops as his punishment. I am a proud member of the Communist Party. Wow, holy shit. Okay, now I know why this episode got banned in China. Before I was wondering, like, okay, what are they gonna do about China? Are they gonna make fun of, like, squinty eyes or something? No, 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 They went crazy. The party is more important than the individual. Oh my god! Who's there? Uh-oh. Nobody. Just- Oh, it's Winnie the Pooh! Oh. <laughs> I missed you, Randy. Where have you been? Bear, I was wondering, since you're new, if you might have some honey? Damn. No, I don't have any honey. Are you prisoners here? Some people said Pooh looked like the Chinese p -p -p president so we're illegal in China now. This is crazy. It's crazy to show you the level of censorship that they actually go through. How they, they enslave... Well, this isn't obviously... I'm not trying to be racist to China or anything. But Chinese censorship is insane. And the, the sweatshop working conditions there are bonkers mad. And they do kind of force people to be communists. A little bit. It's crazy. Oh. Jesus. What kind of madhouse is this? Uh -oh. uh -oh. That didn't sound good. Your honors, I'm just a simple farmer. Uh -huh. From a simpler time. Yeah. I'd never been to China before, but I hate to say. I'm a little disappointed in all of you. What I've seen, you, what? you seem to treat your people like dirt. You don't believe in any individual freedoms. I mean, you got Winnie the Pooh and Piglet in jail? Now come on, China! You know, a uh, country ain't- Is he gonna be able to Karen China into reforming? Nothing unless it's got decency. Integrity! And integrity! Yeah, <laughs> I knew he was going there. And I think I speak for Pooh and Piglet and all of Disney when I say you some integrity, China. Now, God damn. It just so happens that I own a integrity farm. Oh my God, he's literally using this opportunity to sell shit. Bro is walking in front of the court and he's taking this opportunity to sell them weed. Holy shit. W Riz, charisma a thousand. Get that bag, King. Let's go, Randy. Hustle never stops. Grind, don't stop! And I think I might be able to work out a deal for all you nice folk. This is so awesome, you guys. Our band is gonna be huge. Yeah, and we're gonna be rich. This is insane, insane. Yeah, isn't it yeah. just great? That's pretty awesome. Hey, what's wrong, Jimmy? Fellas, I need to tell you something. I think I'm homosexual, and also I'm addicted what? to cocaine. Huh? Oh, that's okay, Jimmy. Yeah, we can get you a liver transplant. Cut! God, listen, guys, we, uh... What the hell was that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro just went out there. I was, like, totally blindsided. I just got word back from the Chinese censors. They don't want us mentioning organ transplants. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! Oh, my God, because there's the whole conspiracy theory of people going to China and uh, getting their organs stolen. Like, there's that whole conspiracy theory. Oh, my God, that's crazy. But also, I love how since it's being filmed, they needed it to be woke. So they needed him to be the one gay guy on the group. How come? Well, they've been accused of harvesting organs from the... Look, look it doesn't matter. They, they just said no to the organ stuff. Oh, and uh, no homosexuality either. There we go. We all knew that was coming. I was like, but they don't mind. Uh, all right. Well. No homosexuality. We're trying to do a banned biopic. Yeah. And what's wrong with homosexuality anyways? Nothing. It's not about what's wrong with it. It's just China doesn't like it. Don't you know? 
This is all about gargling the balls of China. Unless you want to make money in China. Now, come on, everyone back to one. It's crazy how, how sellouty these companies all are, but it's so real. It's all just so real. Oh, what? Oh, God, Winnie the motherfucking... Uh, did, did, did I just call him Winnie Pooh? Ah! Oh, my God. Who's the asshole? Which one of you decided to go and start bad-mouthing the Chinese government? Uh -oh. uh, who here thought they had permission to say anything critical of Chinese politics? Well, uh -oh. it is true, sir. The Chinese seem to exploit their own people with forced labor. Shut the fuck up, Thor! You're here to flex and not think, you fucking bitch! God damn. God damn. I don't want to hear you. I don't want to hear you even telling me about how slavery is bad or some shit. Please, Mr. Marsh was only standing up for me and Piglet because we were prisoners. You are a fat diabetic bear. And if the Chinese don't want you, then I don't either. That's it. Cut your losses. Fuck that guy. Uh, suckle the Chinese cock. Just... Oh my god, it's crazy the how hard they went with this commentary. Now who the fuck is Mr. Marsh? Oh no! Oh, uh, that's me, Randy Marsh. Who is this? I don't know you. Are you from Pixar? No, I'm from South Park. What's South Park? Do I own that? No, not yet, sir. <laughs> not yet, because Disney's buying everything. They bought ABC and MSNBC, and they're buying everything they do now. Oh my god. Telling me. <laughs> that I'm losing Chinese customers because of some shithead that's not even from my company! Hey, hold on a minute. You really think that business should be run through intimidation and fear? Yeah. Whatever happened to old time values? You already have been- Whatever happened to those good old fashioned values on which we used to rely? Are you telling me that you are not even a family guy? Business with the Chinese, you have all the connections money can buy. But there's one thing you don't have. Integrity! And that's integrity. Dude, bro grinding like crazy. Oh my lord. Bro does not stop the grind. Now, it just so happens. Boys, I understand you've got a band here at the school. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Well, boys, it, it seems to me like your music is kind of angry, okay? I mean, it's really loud and good, yeah. it's a little angry. Yeah. Yeah, because I hate living on a farm 30 miles outside of town. Yeah, tell him, Stan. I can't stand my dad anymore, and if I want to do death metal, I can. It's a free country. Yeah. Cut, cut, cut. Uh, kids, let's not say anything about this being a free country. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> they went so hard. Dude, I, I cannot believe how hard South Park went with this episode. The CCP strike again. The CCP strike again. It's because China's not a free country. Oh my god, I can't believe it. They, that's crazy. Oh, come on. Hey, these guys were nice enough to come all the way from China to help us with our standards. We can at least listen to their notes. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Actually, gang, we need to rewrite the whole second act. But that'll take forever. Come on, guys. Everyone else is fine with China approving our entertainment. Even the PC babies don't seem to mind, and PC babies cry about everything. You just gotta rewrite the script before we continue shooting. Go back to your room and just write your story. It has to come from your heart. Except it can't have anything to do with gay people, or organ harvesting, or being in a free country, or... Capitalism? Yeah, I'm already banned in China. And this is old news. I've beefed with China in the past. Maybe that's why I'm kind of, uh... Kind of salty about it. But I, uh, I defended uh, Coco during the China shit. I have made the, the Winnie the Pooh jokes and all that stuff. What? It's crazy. Disney is so powerful, right? Disney is so strong. They owned all this shit. They own so much crap. They are so powerful. And they still suck the balls of China. That is a nutty scene. The idea that Disney is one of the most powerful companies in the world. They still need to suck China's cock. God, it's crazy. It's like, it's like they didn't even want to listen. 
They didn't listen at all? But I... But why not? It's the bear. They're still pissed off about the bear. But for what? Because some Chinese people on the internet started posting pictures of their president as Winnie the Pooh. It's a real thing. Look it up. Man, this is really good shit. So what if we took their side then? What if we showed China that we understand how they feel to be made fun of uh -oh. on the internet? Uh-oh. 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 Remember, write your story. The script has to come from your heart. Oh, Lord. Where is this going? Bro, I'm just waiting for Disney to buy China. Yeah, right. Bro. The story has to come from your heart, my ass. Bro, dude. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god! He's breathing over his shoulder. This is crazy. Ah, it's wild. So, so what do you think, guys? Do you think that the Acolyte was made bad on purpose as some sort of uh, weird humiliation ritual so that, Disney, so that China could laugh at the failure of Disney? What do you think? What do you think? Now I know how all the writers in Hollywood feel. <laughs> That's crazy. Holy shit. He literally said, What is this? You bring shame to the Chinese people. God damn. My goodness, Pooh. China sure is a place. Yeah. Yes, Piglet. It is. Too big, I think. To find what I need. Excuse me. Uh oh. Huh? Would you happen to have some honey? Oh, bother. This just doesn't seem a place for a bear. No, it doesn't seem a place for... Wait! Pooh! Look! Oh, Piglet! What a oh, wonderful no. look! Oh, no. Oh, God, it's a trap! I would like to share, Piglet. <laughs> They're gonna humiliate Pooh. This is Disney. This is Disney doing it. Disney and Randy making a literal honeypot to trap him and humiliate him. For the sake of Disney, this is going to be the humiliation ritual shit. For a lot of you are unaware of what humiliation rituals are, it's a real conspiracy theory. Um, uh, like this is a real conspiracy theory that a lot of people talk about. Like again, it's insane. But look, look at this: Andrew Tate, John Cena sold his soul. Naked Oscars is a humiliation ritual. John Cena sends brutal warning about the Oscars for ridiculing him. So John Cena had to go on the Oscars like this, with like a little thing in front of his dick. And people are saying it's like a humiliation ritual that you have to remember. You have to remember who owns you. And, uh, like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, it's a conspiracy that, uh, this is something that really happens a lot. Perhaps I will share. In just a few more slurps, I can. <laughs> what I love how Randy went. The entire spectrum. Bro, especially because John Cena's, like, owned by China, too. Uh, like, I love how he went through the entire spectrum. Bro. He started off by, uh, saying that poor Winnie the Pooh, it's not fair how he's treated like this. And then he literally completely makes a 180 degree swivel when he realized it hurts his bottom line. God damn. <laughs> Bro, that was a graphic scene! Dude! No, but but unironically, look at this shit. Look at this shit. This, this, is, this is a real thing. A real ass thing that happened. Um, information. Uh, information. Uh, and you know what the mistake was? The mistake was saying that Taiwan is a country. And he had to humiliate himself with this shit. John Cena just destroyed his tough guy image forever. Just to clarify, I was not holding him at gunpoint. Oh my god. 
Don't worry, guys. He's farming his social credit score. I said Taiwan was a country, but then I realized I really, really like money. Sorry. Like, it's insane. Man actually had to humiliate himself. Uh, I, I love China. I just love China so much. I'm so sorry because I love China. I, lo I, lo I love China. Dude, that's fucking crazy. John Cena, the glorious leader, has invited you to Lake Lao Guy! Oh my god. I can't do it anymore, you guys. I can't even think with the Chinese government censoring everything I write. So there's not going to be a biopic movie for us? It's so wrong. You know? I mean, we live in a time where the only movies that us American kids go see are ones that are approved by China. Yeah, it's like China is the new MPAA. Stinks to say goodbye to all that biopic money and glory. We just gotta face it. A death metal band is never going to make real money anymore. The only band that would get approved by China would be all vanilla and cheesy. I'm gonna have to live on that fucking farm forever. No. Oh God, oh Lord, no. No! Yep. I was just, I was terrified they were gonna move to China. Oh, dude, you're back. Yeah, the migrant detention camp was cute, but it kind of rubbed Kyle the wrong way. Anything happened while we were gone? Not really, we just almost had a biopic made for our band, but wait a minute. Wait, vanilla and cheesy. I've got it, I've got it. All right, where is this going? Broncos Live Aid 1984. Bang, 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 bang,
Honey and Blood. That sounds like a new J.R.R. Martin fucking video this book. Dad, did you kill Winnie the Pooh? No! How did he know? How did he know? Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Oh, yeah, I did kill Winnie the Pooh. Where are you going, Stan? I'm going to go write another song about you. Ooh, about me? Make sure it talks about me bringing integrity to China. Wow, that was a banger. That was an insane banger episode. Oh, my God. Bro, oh, my God. China did bound all of South Park? All right, nice. Dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. Blood and Honey is a reference to the Winnie the Pooh horror movie. All right. Dude, that's crazy. I can't believe it. I, I cannot believe it. That was that was one of the... I think this might have been my favorite episode of South Park. N listen, I hate censorship so much. I literally hate it with every fiber of my being. Literally cucking and destroying art. Humiliating people for the sake of pushing an agenda. And also because Kiryu Koko is my friend. Okay? I think the major reason why I got super invested in this entire China situation, there's a VTuber, Kiryu Koko, who was working with Hololive, mentioned Taiwan, and got so harassed, so betrayed... It destroys me. It's tragic. And, uh, and, and she's my friend. Like, God, it really hits me, like, in the, in the heart. You mean Kaysan? Yeah. So, uh, it's fucked, it's fucked up. And, uh, this episode was an absolute masterpiece. Like, unironical, unironic masterpiece. Goddamn. Anyway, 10,000 likes for the anti-vax episode, because apparently that's the next one. Bye! Like, subscribe, and this video was streamed live on kick.com slash See you there. Stay weird, fam!